Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your TBS Micro TX from 100 milliwatts to 250 milliwatts without having to use a soldering iron and how to bind or rebind to any TBS receiver. This method will cause your TX to lose its bind to any and all receivers previously bounded to. First, you want to open up your TBS GNOME Agent app. I have a link in the description on where you can download the TBS Agent app if you don't have it downloaded. Next, you want to grab the TBS Micro TX and connect it to the computer using a micro USB. Make sure you have the antenna attached to the transmitter. You never want to power up the transmitter without an antenna. Once you have it no, connected to the PC and the USB, the Micro TX should start pulsing yellow and the agent should auto recognize the micro TX and show the version. Right here it should auto num recognize that it's a TBS Crossfire micro TX. The current version that's currently installed is 2.24 and the most available is 2.41. And as you see right here in the release notes, it shows the most recent updates or changes. And right here, as of 2.4, it says that they added 2.3. Go ahead and click OK. Then right here, we're just going to go to the drop down and select the most recent version, version update. Once you have your micro TX updated, go ahead and install it into your transmitter. And in my case, I'm going to use the FreeSky Tyrannus X9D Plus. As you can see, I have it reinstalled in the back. And then you want to grab a drone and a LiPo. Now, make sure you don't have any props in your drones because the last thing you need is to get injured in this process. But anyway, go ahead and grab your drone and a LiPo. And go ahead and power it up. You should see my receiver is now solid red. You just want to go ahead and click the bind button right next to it to it starts flashing green. And power up your transmitter. Welcome to Open TX. You want to click menu and hold it. Page over to Crossfire. Scroll down to the Lua script. Press and hold enter. Execute. And then push enter. And as you can still see, it's still flashing green. And as you can see, I'm currently at 100 milliwatts. I'll scroll down to binding. Click enter. And now your receiver should start blinking red. Go ahead, if you want to update the receiver. And finally, we're going to scroll down to the max power output and change it from 100 milliwatts. Select and change that to 250 milliwatts. And exit. And that is it.